Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're getting ready to do the other side of the overhang right here. We did that side yesterday and today I'm going to be working on this side, weather permitting because we're expecting rain off and on. But if I don't get this done and try to get the roof up by tomorrow night, uh, then for the next couple of days after tomorrow we'll have nothing but rain guaranteed so I really would love to get that roof up and maybe at least put some tar paper on it so that it's waterproofed temporarily until I'm ready to put my metal roofing which will be coming in the very near future so um, I think that's the plan the side we did over there that was my first time doing uh, an overhang, a lateral overhang like that, uh, and it worked out pretty well. I did the rail system, which is the same type of idea I did for the top over here. Uh, so I basically build a box, and uh, and then I screw it in there. So and <clears throat> you saw what I did is I put two blocks on either side underneath the truss, and then. I just go over the top and drop down the entire eight foot section of rail. Oh, here's my puppy. Hi, Chicho. Hi, Billy. You came to say hi, baby? Oh, be careful. Did you get an old? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. He's my baby right here. He's my baby right here. The birds are starting to sing. You know, spring is in the air. I'm in my short sleeves. We're supposed to get up into the upper uh, 70s today, like 75, 76 degrees, mid to upper 70s. We're supposed to get up to 80, but uh, they dropped the temp. They're not. It's not going to get that quite that warm. Um, and then we're expecting to get into some cooler temps uh, in a couple of days because the rain's coming, like a lot of rain. So, I better get going over here. I gotta build these two rails over here, and then we join them together for the side, okay? So that is what's on the books for today. Hope you guys are enjoying the build. If you are, let us know in the comments. I'm having a blast, guys. I'm having a blast. I love to build. <clears throat> so I'm basically cutting a bunch of uh, seven and a half inch blocks right now that I will sandwich in between the two by eight, uh, two by four by eight, two by six by eight. I'm sorry. <coughs> a rooster is letting everybody know that a chicken laid because this is their time. They're starting to lay more now. Going into spring. And we really haven't had much of a winter over here, you know. We have had no snow, a bunch of rain. But I'll take the rain. I like snow, don't get me wrong, but it's just easier without it. blades gotten dull and I don't have another one so if I could just get through this so I can do my roof that would be great 
I'd be happy with that. in inches on center. Bring you guys inside, make sure you don't get wet. Well, it's officially raining. I apologize in advance for the vibration, but this is the only way I can get an angle shot for you guys so you can see what I am doing.
Man, that looks beautiful, guys. Lines up great. Yes, I know. I still need to put my supports here. But, uh, like I said, with as much rain as we've been getting, and still planning on getting, we're expecting a lot. So, um, and now we're going into March, which is rainy season. So, I'm going to have to try and get this roof done and waterproofed. And then I can go back and do these. Or at least I want to get these two overhangs done. And then hopefully I can do this. But either way, it's going to get done. All right, last one, guys. Come on. We got it. So I'm going to put a block of wood, a piece of wood in between there and then screw them together and it'll be okay. All of that will be closed in, you won't see anything. So 
look at that. It goes all the way over the overhang. Oh my goodness. But, uh, all of our lumber is nice and dry. Our floor is dry. All of the framing is dry because we have the tarp. It covers everything. Soaking wet, but totally worth it, guys. Finally got all of our overhangs done on the sides, and they're all screwed in and secure. As I mentioned earlier, I still have to put two by four blockings all in through here, and I have to do the same on the other side, right there. If the rain stops, I might come back later. If not, I'll come back tomorrow and you know finish what I need to finish and then we can start our roof we're going to do it a little different you, you'll see uh, you'll see in the next video so see now that we have the overhangs the water doesn't even come in here that water you see there is because I had the tarp folded over while I was working and it was raining and when I went to put it back it all fell in but that's the only reason you see water. Like on this side, there's no water. You see? Everything's nice and dry. Okay, because of the overhang over there. And the tarp is going over the overhang and wraps around it. So, see that? It worked out real good, guys. I'm very happy. First time doing this, but I'm very happy. Turned out great. So, that's it for today, and very soon you'll be seeing me, you know, finishing up that roof, so we can uh, have a nice dry roof, and then we can finish everything else. I have to still put blockings in between the studs here, so I will go back and put 2x4s um, in the middle, all the way through, just for added strength.